an effort underway to clean up the city. Former employees of City Market protesting today. And a viral video landing a fisherman in trouble. The Bahamas Tonight Northern Edition starts now. This is The Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition. Good evening all, I'm Megan Shepard. Thank you so much for tuning in. Topping news, the Grand Bahama Port Authority heeding the cries of residents regarding the proliferation of abandoned buildings in the city. Today, executives along with other stakeholders came together to rid the city of a major eyesore in the downtown area. The Pioneer's Way Professional Plaza sits near the center of downtown Freeport. For decades, a number of businesses ran their offices from this building. But in recent months, the building has been labeled an eyesore as it sat unoccupied and deteriorating. After a year-long process, the building is finally being torn down. Executive directors at the Grand Bahama Port Authority say they are happy to fulfill their responsibility in demolishing this building. The legal process, which is, by the way, a lot more complicated than, than people understand or recognize, um, has been fulfilled. We've gone through all the right processes of notification, uh, etc. Um, once the cost has been in incurred, uh, I think we have the right to recoup from the sale of any land or assets. It's not a happy moment when uh, a part of the built environment gets, re gets, gets pulled to the ground here in Freeport, but I think it's an important um, moment for the community to see the scars on the landscape um, due to economic woe and hurricane damage actually being pulled down and, and this site uh, which should represent prime real estate in, in, the, in the city centre uh, will have an opportunity for a new beginning and uh, we, we, would, we would hope some construction would take place in the near term future here which would add value to the community. Assistant City Manager of the Building and Development Services Renato Karayorhu says that it was extremely important to get rid of the eyesore, which sits in a high traffic zone. But as you know, Pioneer's Way is a heavily trafficked area. There's a lot of businesses, a major utility service provider in the area, and a house of worship. And we felt for the benefit of the citizens and residents of Grand Bahama, it's beneficial for this building, which is deemed an eyesore, to come down at this point in time. We expect that you will see another major building come down by the end, if not sooner, of March. Director Nakira Wilshkam notes that this exercise comes with a hefty price tag. We always seek independent contractors to give us, you know, what they feel is would be um, would cover the demolition costs. Those costs are then turned to the owners um, of the buildings because we would normally keep the properties in a lien arrangement until such time. So it cannot be developed until we recoup the cost taken for the demolition itself. And so we would have expended even for this exercise over eighty thousand dollars for this one exercise. Now as the demolition continues for the next several days, ASP Gregory Lockhart is admonishing the general public to stay away from the site. Over the past couple of months, we have heard and received numerous complaints of persons and undesirables living in this building that is being taken down to the rear of me. We are here today to ensure that the building is totally unoccupied from any persons in the community at all costs. My officers have made a diligent and thorough check of the building and we are satisfied and sure that there are no persons occupying this building. Former employees of City Market taking their concerns to the streets as they held a quiet protest outside of the Garnet Lavardi Justice Center today. Appealing for severance and pension payment, City Market closed its doors in 2012 and employees say they have yet to receive any payments despite a court order for payment to the former employees in June 2015. An affidavit was filed in 2016 stating that employees and pensioners were owed approximately $20 million. However, parties arrived at a mutual understanding and a $12 million figure was put on the table for outstanding pension, while severance pay should have been quantified at a later date. Former employee Mario Pugh is disappointed that the matter continues to drag on. They have said to all of us that pensioners would only be getting pension pay without any severance pay. That doesn't work in the Bahamas. And it has, it, has, it has been gone too far now that we have been waiting 
waiting and waiting and waiting and no results, no results. People have passed on and gone. Uh, people have gotten sick and everything. Family members have lost their homes. We are, we are actually tired. We need, we need, we need definitely our, our monies. We definitely need our monies and we need it badly. Former employee Constance Knowles is also frustrated that no payment has been made. We, the employees of City Market, demanding that the government of today see to it that we are paid our monies. Windexie was a company that put employees in pension. When the Finison took over the company, our pension was secured. We have employees who've been in the company over 30 years, died. They are all having problems, health problems, and they have no money to even help them. A resident of West End arrested today for breach of the Fisheries Act. His arrest coming after a video showing the slaughter of a turtle went viral this week, drawing outrage from animal rights activists. Fisheries authorities then sprung into action, seeking out those responsible for the video and for killing the turtle with a hammer. Fisheries Superintendent Clement Campbell says Defense Force officers played a key role in this investigation. The word that Bahamas Defense Force, um, Chief Petty Officer Smith and his crew, on uh, 7.30 this morning, they came and got me, and we went to West End and found the culprit. Um, we found the turtle in bits and pieces, but we have got three persons in custody that's going to be charged later on in the week. We got the persons who caught the turtle, who sold the turtle, and who bought the turtle. Now, turtles are an endangered species. In 2009, the government banned the capture and sale of sea turtles. Anyone found guilty can face a fine of up of $3,000 and or up to a year in prison. You, you know that the is eating turtle, so there's no, don't even try to deny that. But when you're going to behead a turtle in the public like that and send it out on a viral video is really wrong. We highly oppose to that. We highly oppose to them catching turtle or killing it. We very highly oppose to them chopping the heads off in the public. That was very painful and it's, very, it's just devious. Reports say some 11 bags of the turtle meat was recovered at a local restaurant in the Freeport area. Now three persons were arrested in connection to this discovery and are expected to be arraigned later this week. Police in Grand Bahama taking two illegal firearms off the streets in separate incidents. Reports say that shortly before 2 p.m. yesterday, a good citizen went to the Central Detective Unit office and handed over to police a .38 revolver. The firearm was reportedly found in the area of Logwood Road. In the second incident, officers of the Drug Enforcement Unit, acting on information, discovered a black pistol along with two rounds of 9mm ammunition in the area of Winchester Circle. No arrest was made in these matters. Police are investigating. Stay with us. The Bahamas Tonight Northern Edition continues in just a moment.